And I want you to think of something that made you sad or anxious recently. Maybe you were anxious about the results of your blood work or sad about maybe your spouse losing their job or maybe you're worried about an upcoming exam, whatever it may be. By the way, are your eyes closed? Good job. Now I want you to reflect upon this beautiful verse. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم وقال ربكم ادعوني أستجب لكم And your Lord said, call upon me and I will surely most definitely respond to you. And if you can't think of something good that's going on in your life, I'm going to remind you of this amazing hadith in which the Prophet ﷺ said, no fatigue, nor disease, nor sorrow, nor sadness, nor hurt, nor distress befalls a Muslim even if they were just pricked with a thorn, except that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala expiates some of their sins for that. So when you're going through a hard time, if you can't think of something to be grateful for, be grateful for the fact that while you're going through this hard time, your sins are getting erased. Alhamdulillah. And remember that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala proclaimed, He made an announcement. وَلَئِنْ شَكَرْتُمْ لَأَزِيدَنَّكُمْ If you are grateful, I will surely increase you. Alhamdulillah. You might be saying at this point, not me. Allah doesn't love me. You don't know my hardships. You don't know what I'm going through right now. These hardships are meant to bring us closer to Allah, to forgive our sins, to elevate our status. And if we find that we don't love Allah, it's because we don't know Him. All of the pleasures of this world are not even an ounce of the pleasures of what Allah has prepared for us in paradise. Have you ever asked yourself, do I love Allah? Perhaps tonight you can reflect and look into your heart and find the answer. Look for the good and when you do, I promise it will grow. Each and every one of us is blessed in so many different ways. And shaitan whispers, and he gets us to focus and pay attention to what's going wrong in our lives and to completely forget everything that's going right. So pay attention to the good and actually look for it. Think of blessings in your life and be grateful for them. There are so many countless studies that prove that practicing gratitude does wonders for our mental and emotional health. And it helps, especially with depression and anxiety. And when we practice gratitude, we increase the levels of dopamine and serotonin in our brains, which cause us to be happier, turning to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Through Salah, Dua, and Quran. Many studies, now these are secular scientific studies, prove that prayer helps lessen the feelings of depression and anxiety, subhanAllah. And we all know that when the Prophet Sallallahu was, was feeling sadness or anxious or he was going through difficulty, he would rush to prayer.